If you're a DIY guy, get out of this group. Dead serious. If you're a DIY guy, go be a DIY guy and go figure this shit out over the next seven years. Spend $1.45 million on ads. Go figure out the right niches and go do all that. Get out of the group. I don't want you in here because you're just leeching. You're a leech. And what you're going to do is you're going to try your best to not spend any money. You're the guy that's going to go to Lowe's. You're going to want the pergola that's freaking tits, but you're not willing to pay the professional that does pergolas to build the cool one. You're going to go get some two by fours and a little lacquer and you're going to build some half ass little pergola that your wife's going to tell you looks good and it looks like ass. And by the way, I'm not crapping on people that like to do that stuff in the yard, whatever. I'm talking about with this. If you're the person that is unwilling to pay professionals for their help, if you're the person that is unwilling to have somebody do stuff that sucks, dude, like stuff that like legitimately suck, cleaning your ducks. If you are somebody who refuses to pay a duct cleaner to clean your ducks, kindly check yourself the hell out of this group because this is not going to work for you. DIY people, it's going to be a long ass road. And the thing I've learned about DIY people, I was kind of that way with this stuff. I was beating my chest for the longest time. I'm like, dude, I want to figure this out. On my own. I want to be able to say I got here without any help. Eventually, after being broke for enough years, I finally looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, okay, that's cool, bro. But do you want that more than do you want to take care of your family and actually be able to provide a decent life for them? And at that point, I realized it was pride and I freaking started getting help. And this isn't me like, oh, you need to get a therapist. This is just me saying, guys, you are bananas if you're somebody that's so prideful that you think you can, like, that's why people are specialists. The first this year, I was like, I want to get in the best shape of my entire life. I'm 32 years old old. My testosterone, I got it checked. It's average, dude. It's like four to 500. That's average. I think performance is like seven, 800, right? That's, that's ripping. Never taking steroids, everything. I was like, I want to get in the best shape of my life this year. That was one of my goals. So instead of going, I'm going to start studying some YouTube videos from Chris Bumstead, who's freaking on gear, or I'm going to study some YouTube videos on this guy. I said, uh, I'm going to go find somebody who is my age, somebody who's done it, who has uh, currently has the body I want. Somebody who's completely all natural because I'm not willing to take steroids and I am going to go pay them whatever their asking price is to show me exactly how to get there. And that's exactly what I did. They did not even offer that as a service. It wasn't, they didn't have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I still got this person to do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I spent way more than I care to even tell you. And I got one-on-one -on -one coaching calls every other week and still do. And this year I've been in the best shape of my entire life. And by the way, I've never eaten shittier. I'm hitting like almost a full bottle of coconut creamer in the hot tub two, three times a week, dude. It's crazy, bro. I've, I literally eat all kinds of crap, but it's because they have the knowledge. You're like, you know what? You're sitting there thinking that you can't eat chocolate and you can't eat cookies. It's like, no, you just got to understand that if you're going to do that, you have to do this. Or if you're going to do that, you have to subtract this and you, you have to do it in a certain way. And dude, that knowledge, I was like, and it scared the hell out of me. Guess what other thing scared the hell out of me? Uh, when I started getting on this program, this person was like, hey, how many times a week are you lifting? But I was like, I do six times a week. I'm like pounding my chest, like six days. He's like, cool. I want you to do three. <laughs> And I'm like, nah, dude, I'm not getting fat. You're crazy, right? He's like, no, you gotta do three. And I'm like, well, what do you mean three? And then he gave me the workouts on those three days and it's like five workouts total. And dude, it was like opposite of what I've been doing. I've been doing six days a week, an hour in the gym, high reps, as many workouts as I could, hitting all these areas that I thought, you know, I wanna get a bigger chest, I'm hitting chest too many. Dude, he blew my mind and I've never been in better shape. I've never had more people ask me if I'm on steroids. And guess what, dude? I, I stopped being Mr. DIY, stop being prideful. If you're a DIY guy, get the hell out of this group, seriously. And I don't even care if uh, you were gonna give me a, a, a $50,000 bill as a gift tomorrow, you could take it and shove it up your ass. I don't want it. DIY people, get out of this group. It's not gonna work. You are going to struggle. You are going to struggle big time and you're gonna be so prideful that you're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna figure out ads without Nick's help. Cool, dude. And guess what? You might get lucky and get a deal, but go scale it. Keep wearing that DIY on your chest while you continue to be broke.